Welcome back to another episode of the Lathe Build. On this week's episode, I'm gonna work on the table for this thing. This table is just all over the place. I also wanna put the motor back on this lathe and maybe turn a little something, even though I don't have the chuck that's gonna be on here in the end. I'm actually gonna get a three jaw or a four jaw chuck. For now, I think I'm just gonna throw the motor on here and try and turn a few things, even though they'll have to be real small. So I'm gonna get started trying to figure out this whole wiring system, getting it all buttoned up and ready to go back on the lathe. on just a little piece of wood here. It's just to kind of tell, you know, if it's shaking really bad, where it's shaking. And this is what I found. This part here actually doesn't go high enough. I need it to go about an inch or two higher. I want to get a bigger stud. I want to get either like a three quarters or a one inch, preferably a one inch by like five inch bolt that I can weld down here and run this up and down with. This slide here needs to be just a little bit tighter. Um, it shakes just a little bit. And it didn't shake in the beginning, but as I've used it and kind of messed with it, it's just on wood even, it's just loosened up a touch. Now I think I'm gonna rebuild the table just to kind of get it to more of a workable state. And then I'll go through and start upgrading, um, upgrading the slide a little bit to get that tighter, the height on the tool holder. Just There's just a lot of little things that I'm gonna upgrade to make this work really good. I think how I'm going to fix this wobble issue that I'm having, these are just not fine enough, they're not tight enough to get that, the super accurate cut I need. I think I'm just gonna put some L bracket across the top of these here and across the top of this one here. And hopefully that will just kind of give this thing a little bit more stability. the little upgrades I wanted done on this. I put bars kind of across the top of these and that really just, I mean this thing is just rock solid now. I also ran a brace all the way across to help hold these two brackets together. That way it doesn't have any movement this way. I'm gonna paint the table now. I'm in the mood for a little bit of color. So we're going colorful on it. I may change it later, not sure. But for now, it's getting a splash color. <laughs> I got the 
table all painted. The tool holder is on really nicely. I think I'm gonna turn some mesquite wood now because it's a lot softer than metal. And I don't really have tools to cut metal right now either. You can see the lines in this one. That's where I didn't sand it. That's just the regular cut that it makes. And then um, this is where I sanded it off. It's not a lot smoother. But I'm working with just that kind of chisel thing that doesn't work that great. Also too, I don't have that larger center stud for my tool holder. So there's actually a little bit of movement in there. And I'm actually really, really happy with that. That's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. The next episode will be coming out next Friday, so be sure to subscribe for that. Share with all your friends and like this video. Thanks for watching.